Bulginaka, do you know that cybercrime is becoming a growing problem in Fiji? Cybercrime is defined as a crime in which a computer is the object of the crime, such as hacking and spam. Cybercrime is also cyberbullying and using fake profiles to cause panic and spread false news. If you're involved in this or know anyone who's committing these crimes, report them immediately. I'm Polly. And I'm Peter. We host the Traffic Jam Show on City FM. From 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. every weekday. Do, do the, the right, right thing. In this bulletin, campaign hopes to curb rape. PRB looks into alleged stabbing incident. And ADF personnel begins rehabilitation in Naloa. From the studios of FBC Suva. The Fiji Women's Crisis Centre will be launching a nationwide anti-rape campaign after a lapse of 11 years to help address Fiji's rape culture. This comes on the day that the latest statistics from the Director of Public Prosecution's Office shows the abuse of young victims continuing. The anti-rape campaign was initially launched in 2005. However, this did not bode well as FWCC lacked the fund to reach out to every community. Jeshu Lal reports this is about to change. The recent case in which a 10-year-old was allegedly raped in an evacuation center by a 20-year-old has prompted stakeholders to take immediate action in hopes of curbing the issue. And uh, that will also be quite inclusive and comprehensive and uh, you know, just getting people on board and raising awareness for people to whom it has happened to come out, for survivors to come out and for a lot of what we are really going for is a lot of community support for ending rape. The Fiji Women's Crisis Center coordinator says they are also looking at ways to ensure women and girls are protected under every circumstance. Disasters of that nature, the lockdowns, the uh, social distancing and so on, when those things kick in, we will have an increase when people are confined. Already we have a problem of the prevalence rates are very high in Fiji. So when, and it's further exacerbated when we have crisis, when we have disasters and things like COVID, like cyclones that we happen. Director for Human Rights and Anti-Discrimination Ashwin Raj is encouraging Fijians to speak up against such inhumane act and perpetrators must be held accountable. We live in a society where people don't take you know, some of their concerns seriously. They think that children have a propensity to exaggerate, uh, they, they, they have wild imaginations and all of that, and also outright denial because people are usually sort of concerned that, you know, should this story come out, my family is going to look bad, it's going to reflect, you know, on, on the kind of parent I am. The anti-rape campaign in March will also ensure the safety of all women and girls and ensure they are free from any form of violence and abuse. Jay Shulal, FBC News. Some public rental board tenants are breaching the tenancy agreement, evident in the alleged case of stabbing at a PRB flat in Mid Road, Nambua on Sunday. PRB Acting General Manager Patrick Veu says recently a reminder was sent to tenants about the agreement and the need to be safe in the holidays. However, people are ending up in hospital beds. The same PRB property has been in the spotlight in the past with allegations of drug smuggling and even assault on police officers. The tenant of the flat where the alleged stabbing took place had said he invited friends over. The PRB is saying visitors are strictly prohibited. PRB says what's causing more problem is overcrowding and tenants not declaring who is within the property. The three men allegedly involved in the stabbing rampage have been arrested. We don't allow the drinking as well as uh, you know overcrowding of people coming into the flat. Uh, our tenant agreement is clear. Those who are within the, the range, uh, the, the needy ones, I mean. But uh, it's unfortunate that uh, some extended families come in um, without our, our knowledge. Australian Defence Forces personnel have started repair works on Ngaloa Island Primary School in Bua. Commissioner Northern Division Uraya Rainima says ADF engineers are working alongside the Republic of Fiji Military Forces engineers to repair the school which was damaged by Tisiasa over two weeks ago. Ranima says they are being monitored by the COVID-19 team from the Ministry of Health. According to an earlier statement from the National Disaster Management Office, RFMF personnel working with the ADF engineers will all undergo a full 14 days of quarantine before re-engaging with the public.
Ngaloa has been cornered off, uh, especially the area that is occupied by our, by our ADF uh, partner, but uh, 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 that's around the school. And uh, our disciplinary forces and uh, the health uh, officials are also there to see that uh, uh, the uh, protocols are properly uh, followed. The Lodge of Fiji yesterday presented $20,000 worth of school gear to nine schools in the Lao Group. The assistance includes school uniforms, sandals, school supplies and drinking bottles, which was handed over to representatives from the institutions that need support. Lodge of Fiji Chair Krishna Raju says they have been looking into donating school gear for many years and that contributing to education is very important. The organization says it will continue to assist in developing the education sector. On behalf of the uh, members of uh, Lodge of Fiji, which uh, we are part of the Freemason group, uh, very proudly announce a contribution worth around $20,000 towards the schools in the Lao group. This is something which uh, we have always looked at for so many years. Education has been something very close to our heart. And contribution towards the station is something we find very important. And in world news, Dr. Anthony Fauci and Surgeon General Jerome Adams have disputed a claim by President Donald Trump that federal data on COVID-19 cases and deaths in the United States is overblown. Both expressed optimism that the pace of vaccinations is picking up. Yes. Up ahead, FRU hopes to host more tests this year and need for more women's football competitions. The Fiji Rugby Union is hopeful they will be able to host some international games this season. With COVID-19 changing a lot of things lately in the world of sport, the FRU will now have to think outside the box for the benefit of players, fans and even our economy. Aquila Dama has the details. But back home it's a big year for the FRU with the Olympic Games and Women's Rugby World Cup, but hosting tests are also part of the calendar. We're looking forward to preparation for 2019. Uh, for 2021, eh? uh, in terms of the flying pigeons, uh, in terms of the calendar that we have, uh, we should have the PNC uh, in uh, July, end of June, July. Fiji is scheduled to host Ireland in July. However, the FRU is keeping its options open. Rugby is a big money earning sport event, and like the FRU, the Fiji Sports Commission is also playing its part in ensuring we have some action at home. When we host events here, they are very good for the economy. And Fiji's economy needs an injection. We all know that. And with Cyclone Yasa the other day, we need more of an injection. So The Sports Commission is continuing their sports bubble talks with a few countries. Aquila Dama, FBC Sports. There is a need for more participation of our Fiji football women's side in international and regional competition. Due to the pandemic, Fiji Football Association was not able to send its teams for international match. Fiji FA Chief Executive Mohamed Yusuf says the women's team need matches to see where they stand after being close to a stagnant for a year. Yusuf says the association had just done its women's team strategic planning for the next three years. He has a lot of planning to do. Uh, for all uh, national team, under 16 girls, and uh, 19 girls, and national senior women. Um, we, as soon as the borders open, even if the borders open for Samoa and Tonga, we would like to invite or we want to take out the girls team across and play matches. Lionel Messi made his 500th La Liga appearance and 750th in all competitions for Barcelona in yesterday's meeting with Huesca. While he wasn't able to mark the milestone with a goal, the Argentine did provide an assist for Frankie de Jong as Barca recorded a much-needed 1-0 victory. Here.
Occasional rain, heavy at times, and few thunderstorms can be expected today. Localized heavy falls may lead to flash flooding of low-lying areas. That is your FBC Morning News. Do join us at 1 p.m. and 7 p.m. for our major bulletin. Have a good day. हमारे खूबसूरत देश बीजी में चाइल्ड अब्यूज की घटनाएं आए दिन बढ़ रही हैं। क्यों बच्चों का मासूम बचपन अब्यूज का शिकार हो जाता है अपने बच्चों की सुरक्षा का खास ख्याल रखें। उनसे बातचीत करें उनके दोस्तों के बारे में जानें। आज के बच्चे देश का भविष्य है मैं दीप्ति और मैं मोनिश आपके हम सफर शामिल हो जाए हमारे साथ मंडे टू फ्राइडे फाइव फोर्टी फाइव आई एम सी टेन तक रेडियो फिजी टू देश की धड़कन आरोप